Installing a new processor is one of the most important things that you can do on your PC. It's the brain of the computer after all. So if you have a brand new AMD Ryzen processor that you're ready to install, we have a couple tips and tricks for you to safely and securely install or replace your AMD Ryzen CPU. The first thing that you have to know is that electrostatic discharge or the little zaps that you build up by shuffling around on carpet, those can actually be dangerous for the sensitive electronic components in a CPU. But there's a way to deal with that. First, don't build a computer on a carpet, don't build it on a rug, hardwood floors or even tile floors would be best. Secondly, you can deal with electrostatic discharge with an ESD strap. On one end, there's a wristband that you simply put on your wrist. And on the other end, there is sometimes a plug, like ours, which goes into a technical bench that is grounded, or there's a clip. The type that you might buy from the store is probably going to have a clip. To use that, you would simply turn the power supply off on your computer, and then attach the clip to the power supply. Any bare metal on the power supply will do. That means when the static that builds up in your body doesn't go into the CPU, instead it goes through our handy wrist strap, through the power supply, and back into the wall outlet. That is a great way to keep your CPU safe. The next thing that you'll want to do is install the processor. Now that you're grounded with your wrist strap, you'll be able to take the AMD Ryzen CPU out of its bubble packaging. And when you do that, take note. In the lower left-hand corner, there is a golden triangle. That golden triangle lines up with a triangle that's also on our processor side. So you'll want to turn the CPU to match the two triangles up. And then you lift the metal arm on the CPU socket, and then you simply drop the processor into the socket. My CPU dropped in effortlessly. It should feel really easy to install the CPU. If it's not easy, then the CPU is either installed in the wrong orientation, or you've not yet raised the metal retention arm on the socket. So once the CPU is installed, you can simply put that metal arm back down, and now the CPU is installed. And if there was any electrostatic discharge, that wrist strap that you would have took care of that for you automatically. Now the next thing, and our last step, is to install the heatsink. AMD Ryzen processors come with a heatsink inside the box. And when they come from the factory, they have a thermal compound pre-applied. That thermal compound ensures good heat transfer from the processor to the heatsink and out into the world. It helps keep your processor running cool and quiet. Now, if you've installed and removed this cooler a couple times, that thermal pad might be worn. You can clean it off with isopropyl alcohol very easy. Now, what happens when that thermal pad gets worn out is that it must be replaced with aftermarket thermal compound. You can buy this from any online electronic retailer and it only costs a few dollars. This thermal compound is really easy to apply, it comes in a plungered syringe more often than not, and there are a few ways to put it on the processor. Many people advise a large dot the size of a pea or two peas in the center of the CPU, and then when you put the heatsink on, it will spread out evenly across the processor. Other people recommend drawing an X shape across the CPU with thin beads of the thermal compound. And again, when you apply the cooler, the pressure of the cooler on the CPU will evenly spread out that thermal compound. It's important that you don't have too much compound, which can hurt your temperatures, or too little compound, which can also hurt your temperatures. You just want a nice, paper-thin, even application of the thermal compound on your CPU, just about what it looks like on the bottom of the heatsink from the factory. And that is how you safely and securely install or replace an AMD Ryzen desktop processor in your socket AM4 motherboard.